So that's pretty much the contents. Maxton lip, as you can see, it has the logo right there. Boom. So I'm gonna need to get four more of these, longer ones, so I could put them on each corner. And then I'll be able to install the Maxton lip. Got this package from FedEx. Came from USP or USP. Alrighty then. The Maxton. Okay, so here it is. Right here, this is the Maxton Type 2 lip, as you can see. And this one is textured, textured black. So this is not the gloss black, which is supposed to match, you know, the, the black plastic on my bumper right there. All right? So that's what this is. Bolts right here. Boom. And let's not forget. Boom. Let's not forget the gold bears right here. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you get. You get the bolts, the lip, and gold bears. I want to talk about why I ended up getting this uh, Maxton lip. Originally, I wasn't thinking about putting a lip for my bumper because, you know, this is a daily driver and I'm, I'm not really thinking about turning this into like a show car. I'm not even doing no car meets, stuff like that. But the reason why I got this lip was because I already have some damage on my bumper and I want to just cover up that damage. See how it's right there, boom. Yeah, there's a, there's a hole. You see how there's a hole right there on the bumper? So I want to cover that up. So instead of buying that plastic piece to cover up the uh, this crack, I decided I decided I'm just gonna cover it with the Maxton lip, you know what I mean? So that way, I can still have some style, but actually cover up that, that hole. I do this. It doesn't cover up the, the crack completely, but it covers a lot of the hole right here. That could be an issue as far as aerodynamics, but at least it covers most of it. So I don't think I need to replace this plastic part. So by having that lip, you know, I create some style and get rid of that hole. So as you can see from the front, boom, right? That's how it's going to look right there, you know, which, eh, it's definitely going to look better than stock. Of course, if I really want to make it look perfect, then I would get rid of this crack and these holes, right? But the shop would charge me 400 bucks extra to cover up the cracks and the holes and then repaint this part. So I'm not sure if I'm willing to spend another 400 bucks just to do that, aesthetically speaking. So I might just do this, leave it alone and call it a day. If it bugs me, then yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and cover that up. But if it's, if it's not really a big deal because this is a daily driver, maybe I don't need to, but I just want to kind of let you guys know why I got this lip, okay? Don't think, that, oh, why didn't you get the, uh, the, the Type 1 or why didn't you get a, a splitter or spend more money, blah, blah, blah. I, was, I wasn't even thinking about getting this lip in the first place, as I mentioned. The only reason I did was because of that crack in that hole in the back and I want to cover most of it and adding a little bit of style in the process instead of just getting that plastic piece. It's like hard material. It seems a little bit flexible, but yet firm. That's what I feel the Maxton is all about, right? So this should be uh, pretty solid. Hopefully it won't crack when it scrapes. Well, let's try to see where it's gonna go. It's gonna go like right here. Boom, like that, right? Yeah. So that's what it's gonna look like, I think. And I just have to line up the holes right here, see? Boom. The way that this thing is designed is it already has the the shape right here 
but I do have to add the holes, right, to make it fit. And just, uh, so I'm gonna figure out where to put the holes for this, right, and then start drilling, you know? And then I'm gonna start using this right here. Boom. I think it, there's instructions, so I'm just gonna read the instructions and figure out where to drill. I'm using this tape to put around there, lip, and here. Boom. So now that I put the double-sided tape, I need to kind of see how the lip is actually gonna look. So I have to turn it over slowly before I start drilling, right? So just, I know for sure if this is the right spot. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, try to flip it over without removing the, the lip. So I have the double-sided tape and this is what it's gonna look like. It looks pretty even from what I could see. Right here, you know what I'm saying? I think it's pretty even, right? So I think that should be good enough and I should be ready to go ahead and start drilling. Boom, it's gonna look like that. First thing I gotta do is screw one right here. See, there's already a hole. So I'm gonna use my uh, drill to um, make a hole right there so that I can um, use this, this uh, screw and put it in here and hold it in place. Just like I did on this side. See how I put a screw right there? Boom, like that. Just to hold it in place and then just use that to keep this lip solid, I mean in place, and then I can start drilling all the way. So this, uh, this right here is screws gonna hold it in place and now I can start drilling all the way. The way I'm going to drill the holes for the screws, I'm thinking I got 16 all together as far as the screws. So I'm trying to do this spot on method. This is what I did here on the first screw. See how I did it on the, on this, uh, this area where it's kind of at an angle and I was able to put the screw right there barely you know I know that some people are saying that the screws are not long enough so you just have to kind of uh, figure out a way to angle it so that you can still get the screw down there so that's what I did right here on the angle see right there this is where I actually screwed it and that's what I'm gonna do on this side as well right here at the angle right so that way it's uh, kind of spot on right because when there's wind you want it to be right there instead of here otherwise it might uh, it might mess up the uh, the splitter might come off right so that's what I'm trying to do right there so I'm gonna drill right here on the angle part so that way it's spot on so to speak right just like this one and uh, what I did is I, I used this to mark. Right here, see how I'm marking the yellow spots? That's what I do. I, I mark with this, and then I'm gonna start using the drill. Finally got the uh, screws installed right here on the Maxton. And it's not completely smooth sailing because some of the screws are actually not long enough but as you can see right here if you take a look yeah I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve now as you can see there's two more holes here that I drilled and this right here this screw is not long enough so I'm gonna need to go to Home Depot and get longer ones so that they would go through and then I'd be able to screw them in. So these two right here, you can see, I'm, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave that for now because like I said, this is not long enough. So I gotta go do a Home Depot run to get those uh, taken care of. And then, as you can see, I put it right here on the, the angle, right? Because that's more spot on, especially if you don't really use glue. I only use double-sided tape. 
you know, the screws are just better in this position because then it holds it in place, especially when the air goes forward. And uh, what I ended up using is, is a 1 8 drill bit right here to make the holes big enough for this screw. Usually the washer is not here on this side because it's underneath. Right here, see this is where I put the washers. Right underneath the bumper. You just want to make a note of that. It's only when I have an extra washer that I also put it up here. But mostly all of them, the washers are underneath the bumper. See how there's like, there's three more holes right here, or like four. One, two, three, four. And that's for the bumper, okay? That's for the bumper to connect down here with the other plastic, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do that right now. So. See, these are the screws I drilled right here. Boom. One, two, three, four. And those are for the original screws that go underneath the, the, uh, the MK7. So that way I can still use them to even, to reinforce this uh, lip even more. So that's just something else to keep in mind. As you can see, this hole is covered by the splitter, but there is still a small hole right here. That's not covered, so I'm gonna cover that with flex tape which is like rubberized tape. I'm gonna use this to cover this part up right here. Boom, right here to just cover up the hole. That's over here, I already did the other side, so I'm just doing this side now, and I'm just gonna try to shape it so that I'm able to cover up that hole. Good thing this flex tape really does flex. You know what I mean? So that's the whole idea. Just uh, try to like that. Just it does stick really um, tight. See, so you just kind of do this, and it will kind of just hold this all in place right here. So um, I just have to play with it a little more, but that's pretty much it. It just kind of covers up that hole and so that I don't have to worry about any you know from aerodynamics and so on that should work out well at least covering up the holes just like the other side right there so that's what the uh, the Maxton splitter is gonna look like right there on both sides you can see Boom. Mm -hmm. So, but like I said, you know, I can't install it yet because I still have to get uh, bigger screws because the two screws on the corners are too short. I just want to reinforce it, make sure that it's, uh, nothing's going to happen as far as, you know, aerodynamics. So like I said, all the screws have to be, at least most of them have to be at an angle so that when there's downforce, right, from the air, it's not going to make the splitter fall or because there's going to be quite a bit of downforce so it's good to make sure it's stable and solid so I'm, that's why I'm gonna get four more long ones on each side so this is just I'm just test fitting just trying to see how it looks the front bumper with the Maxton sp splitter type 2 right here boom so there you have it once I get all the screws then I'm gonna install the whole thing so I did manage to get Longer screws, as you can see right here, they're longer, but they're not quite the same. You can see this one is uh, Phillips, so it's not the same as this one, but I did get some washers as well. So we'll have to just make use of these uh, different types of screws to fit, to fit right here on these two spots so there you have it as you can see I put extra washers on both sides right here and right there but these are long enough obviously 
two here and two right here in the corner same thing extra washers boom like that so just keep that in mind if you're installing the Maxton that the screws they provide would only work right here in the middle right but on the corners they're not gonna be long enough so you're gonna get at least you need to get at least four of them one two on each side right here one two so now when you look at it now I have more than enough screws to keep this splitter nice and snug and solid and I won't have to worry about downforce because everything is spot on because these uh, screws are at an angle right here you know what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add Loctite blue just to make sure that these uh, bolts right here will stay in place in case there's vibration so these I'm just gonna add some Loctite blue you know let's do this This could be overkill, right, using this stuff because you don't really need to use this. I just wanted to for myself, peace of mind, especially the ones right here on the one that's uh, bolted at, at an angle, right? It's not, I mean, it's secure, but you know how the, the bolts or the screws are very, they're kind of short. So I just added them just in case, you know, I, I don't want them to come loose. For me, it just feels better using it but you don't have to use this you could just screw them in and you're good to go so that's going to do it for this maxton front splitter install if you want to see how i actually installed the bumpers back on you can click this link which is going to take you to when i installed my intercooler because that's when i removed and reinstalled the front bumper till next time drive safe and keep on rolling